It's been nearly a week since Adalia slammed Florida's Big Bend area, making landfall in a dangerous Category 3 strength. That part of the Gulf Coast has not seen such a deadly storm surge and wind gusts for at least 125 years. Earlier this weekend, President Biden paying a visit to the area, pledging federal support to Florida and several states in the southeast. Fox Weather's Kitty Byrne has the details. President Biden on the ground Saturday in North Florida, getting a first-hand look at the extent of the damage caused by Hurricane Idalia. When people are in real trouble, the most important thing to give them is hope. And we're not going anywhere, the federal government. We're here to help the state as long as it takes. There are no plans for Biden to meet with Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, though the two have spoken regularly about recovery efforts. Idalia came ashore Wednesday as a Category 3 hurricane, the most powerful storm to hit Florida's Big Bend region in over a century, record-setting storm surge carving through some coastal communities. It wiped this house right off of its foundations. It was an elevated house of about eight foot off the ground, but when the storm surge hit it and waves on top of the storm surge, it busted it all to pieces and it's gone. Tens of thousands are still without power. Crews hope to get most of those homes back up and running by Sunday. The National Guard is on the ground helping to clean up and clear out debris. There's estimated to be as much as $20 billion in damage. Despite the devastation, residents are doing what they can to help out their neighbors and move forward. It's the worst storm we've ever been through. And, um, and we're going to rebuild. Uh, it'll never be the same. Biden is asking Congress to increase FEMA's funding after a year of several major natural disasters. In Live Oak, Florida, Katie Byrne, Fox Weather.